Hello, this is Will from ProBackup and in this video I will show you how you can restore ClickUp data back to your account using ProBackup. To showcase this I've created a small uh, ClipBook account with just a few lists and projects and let's say I have I have this task here that I will delete from my ClickUp account. So I open the task and as, again, I, as you can see there's a comment, some files, subtasks and also a uh, custom fields. So I click here to delete the task from my account. So now how can I restore this task? To do so I can go to probacup.io, sign in to my account and then select ClickUp uh, from the drop down here. Once I've done that I can go to the backups page and then on this page on you will see here on the left side pane all of the data types that we are backing up for ClickUp and most of these can also be restored Back to, your, back to your ClickUp uh, account. In this case, I would like to restore a task, so I'll click on task, Tasks, and I uh, use these drop-down fields to select uh, the right uh, projects. As you can see here, the task one, which I've just deleted from my account, is of course still available in my account. So how can I restore this? Uh, you have two options. Either you can um, select, select the right records in the table and then use this button to restore the task back to your account. Or you can also click on the task, to have this uh, pop-up where you can e where you can easily compare the different versions of the task and then um, use the button at the bottom here to restore the right version back to your account. So each time a task has been updated, then a new version will be available here in the option above. And this is quite useful to kind of um, go back in time of a certain task and see how the task has been changed over time. So in this case, if I check the version of yesterday compared to the one of today, I see that the description has been added, uh, for example. So now we can select the task and restore it. Before I do so, um, I'll brief briefly explain what happens when you restore a task. So for everything that you restore through Pro Backup, we'll, we'll apply the same principle in where we duplicate or never override existing data, but always always will uh, create a duplicate from your data backup. So in this case, uh, the task has been deleted from my ClickUp account. So if I restore this one, then just this task will reappear. But if I were to uh, restore data that's still available or still exists in my ClickUp account, then we will create duplicate records that exist next to the original one. And I will show you this later in this uh, video as well. Then secondly, each time we restore a task or a list or a comment, we will always restore it to its parent entity. So in the case of tasks, this means that you will restore it back to the existing list. In the case of lists, this means you will restore it back to the workspace. And if, for example, you restore a comment, then it will be restored to its existing uh, task. If you try to restore a comment of a task that's no longer available, then you will have to go to the task um, data type and restore the entire task uh, instead. So let's go ahead and restore this one. I clicked on restore tasks and then uh, and this triggers uh, the restore. If I then click on go to restores, I'm redirected to the uh, reports page of ProBackup. And here you can see the progress bar, how the restore process is, is progressing. So you can see here it has a few attachments, it also has a few comments, and uh, it also has a few subtasks, I believe, which have now been restored. So in this example, it's very quick to restore one task. But of course, if you're restoring, you know, an entire list with a lot of hundreds of, of tasks, it can take up to a few minutes or even up to a few hours before the entire restore process has been completed. So then this progress bar is very useful to keep track of the uh, progress. Um, now that restore is done, I can go back to my ClickUp accounts. And as you can see here, I can see the task that I just deleted uh, from my account. And if I click on the task, you can see that also all uh, comments, files, subtasks, action items, um, and everything, also the custom field values and all other uh, meta information has been restored as well. So this goes a lot further than um, just restoring data by importing an Excel file, we also will restore all of the dependencies such as files and comments, but also the dependencies when a certain item has blocked another item or it's it's dependent on another item, those dependencies will also be restored. If, the, if a task is linked to another task, those relationships will also be restored when you restore um, data. Uh, now let me restore a task of, or that's still available in my account. So let's say the third task, if I restore this one, go to restores, it's very quick again. Um, then I see here two versions of the same tasks 
in, in my account. So one is the original one, the other one is the restored version. So this is an easy way to re to test the restore functionality. You can just like restore a few tasks and then or remove the restored versions back again from your account. So this way you can test the restore functionality without actually having to delete data from your ClickUp uh, accounts. Then I will now show you the example of how you can restore an entire list. So I'll do exactly, uh, or the principle is exactly the same. I click on list, I select the relevant uh, folder, in this case, uh, projects, and then I can select um, projects and click here on, on the button to restore the entire projects. Uh, one thing to note here, you see here these buttons with view tasks, view comments, and so on. If you click on these, then you will actually jump to the, let's say view comments, then you will jump to that data type with the selection of that project. So it's like an easy way to drill down to your data and it's a quick way to also navigate, yeah, kind of through your uh, ClickUp uh, structure. Now I'll go back to list to restore the entire project. I'll select project two and click on restore lists and then go again to the reports. Now you can see the progress bar is a bit more elaborate, but it's still pretty quick in this case. And yeah, one by one, all of these uh, separate things will be restored. I can already have a look at my account to see how it looks like. So here you see the restored projects. And as you can see, we've appended the name of the restored list better um, with restored and then also the timestamp of that list. And as I'm viewing this um, list, you will see that the data one by one will be appearing in this list, uh, depending on the uh, restore projects, as you can see here. Um, but so also the restore of, of an entire list is pretty uh, straightforward. This is especially helpful when, for example, all data of a certain list has been messed up and you don't, you're not really sure what, what has happened within that list. Then you can just go to Pro Backup, select the right version of that entire list and then restore that kind of older version back to your ClickUp account. And then it's up to you whether you keep the original one or you prefer to continue to work in the uh, restored version. And with this, we've come to the end of this tutorial. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you and that you now better, better understand the restore capabilities or functionalities for uh, Pro Backup. If you wish to learn more about Pro Backup and its other functionalities, then I recommend checking out our YouTube channel or have a look at our help center. Thanks for watching.